Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. In previous couple of videos, we learned about uh, sequential container and uh, module dict and module list. In this video, we will talk about parameter list and see if uh, if uh, and also see if time will permit. We will uh, learn about parameter dict. Okay, so parameter list, as the name suggests, it contains a list of parameters. Okay, we will see like how, like when we create a linear layer, it has weights actually that is uh, um, bundled with parameters, uh, parameters module, and then that is. Uh, multiplied with the inputs when we uh, pass it through the parallel path okay so let us dive in and uh, implement uh, uh, linear layer using uh, uh, creating our own weights okay so in general parameter list is used when you have more than one parameters to be applied in a particular network and you want to have them as your uh, requirement okay so let us dive in and see a uh, uh, linear layer, how we can implement it. So let us update uh, this sequential code. So simply what we will do is we will use uh, an end dot parameter list. Okay. And here, instead of saying aid module, we will say append as we do in simple list and it accepts only the parameters okay so what we need to do is an end dot parameter and then we simply need to create a random weights okay so we will use torch dot rand and uh, when we create weights the dimension actually uh, reversed okay so it will be uh, output features cross input features okay so we will simply change it to like this okay and we don't need to create activation function for each and every layer we simply create a single activation that we will use for all the layers okay as it is non parametric so it is just the operation so we can simply use it and when we need to call the forward pass we need to apply each and every layer again and again okay so let us do that so let us use for i in range or you can simply say for layer in self dot deep and then so we will get all the layers here and then we can simply say tensor is equal to and we'll use f dot linear so this is actually a function that will apply uh, that accepts input and weights and then it simply applies um, y is equal to x transpose w sorry x uh, dot uh, w transpose plus b okay so we can simply say what it does it y is equal to x dot let us say w and then transpose it does transpose and if we have bias it will simply add it okay so let us import it from the functional module so we can say from torch dot and then import functional as f it contains a lot of uh, module like softmax or loss function it contains all the utility that is required for a neural network module okay and then what it accept is input and weights and we have layers are the weights okay and then we apply again the activation function on those okay self dot activation and then we pass tensor to it okay and as we need to accumulate the output as each and every layer so we will simply create a list of hidden states okay let us call it a list and just keep appending 
the tensors. But one thing we need to handle is, so the last layer is actually, uh, we don't want to apply the activation. Okay, This will also require a pen. And we need to change this as well. Okay, and also we change the output features versus input features. And as I was saying, like, for the last layer, we don't want to apply the activation. So we simply say if. So we need to simply run enumerate actually. OK, so that we will get the indexes. And we will get IDX. Now, if it is last layer, we simply don't apply the activation. That's it. That's what we need to handle. OK, so if you say IDX is equal to is equal to length self dot t and then minus one you simply not is equal to is equal to actually not is equal to. so it will apply for um, uh, all the remaining layers except the last layer okay so this is actually our own implementation for a uh, uh, simple feed forward neural network then using our own weights so here we are uh, uh, initializing the weights randomly we could use a um, uh, simple uh, uniformly uh, uh, uniform distribution or any other uh, which works well but here for the sake of simplicity we just use a random initializer okay and if we run it it will work similar way also for the sake of simplicity only we are not using any bias so so as the as the Matter of fact, whenever you need to implement your own module that is to be trained, always use parameter list if it is more than one module. Okay, so that's how it is more convenient to to uh, run through it uh, when you are doing forward pass. Okay. Also, we need to change the input to the output of the current layer so that it will be accessible to the next layer. So we need to say inputs is equal to tensor okay also we need to remove this and also we simply change the output okay the return should be minus one as well as all the hidden states and here we can simply say output and states okay so let us run and see it it should be four cross um two because we have uh, output size 2. So let us run and see it. So you see, we have 4 cross 2. Okay, and you can see here we run all 10 layers, and we can also see here as a log, like for the last layer, it won't apply the activation. So we can simply say print f. The layer is idx okay so let us run and see it again you can see for the 10th layer it doesn't go in that particular uh, if condition okay so i hope that is clear um like uh, where to use parameter list and in case of parameter dict as in the name says if you have like uh, multiple parameters and you want a selection uh, to be done using a choice you use parameter dict. so if we will add that in this video it will be a little longer so we will learn that in the next video so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next